Thank you, thank you, Krishna, for uh, this uh, nice introduction. And uh, I am uh, very, uh, very happy to to participate in this uh, to the webinars uh, you organized. Uh, and uh, it's uh, an opportunity for me to present uh, early uh, research works and uh, also they are ongoing now uh, about uh, erosion. So uh, today I will present uh, many, many uh, research works about internal erosion in embankments, uh, dams uh, and dikes. Uh, this research is, uh, were, uh, were achieved uh, with different uh, PhD students. Yeah, as you know, the, the, the dams are the hard, uh, hydraulic structures retaining a billion cubic meters of, uh, of water, and uh, uh, they are uh, able to suffer uh, suffusion and, and uh, other kinds of erosion. So uh, we have to uh, be uh, very uh, to care about these uh, structures because uh, they incidents uh, are uh, frequent and uh, they, uh, they, uh, they 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 cause us uh, many many uh, many life uh, losses uh, and uh, in uh, over the world uh, almost uh, half of fires are due to internal erosion so uh, this uh, this uh, pathology is important uh, and uh, many researchers are uh, studying and uh, investig investigating this, uh, this mechanism. Uh, there are four mechanisms of internal uh, erosion which are, were ident identified by the internal committee of uh, large dams. The, the first one is backward erosion, uh, where the Erosion starts uh, at, at downstream and uh, progresses to upstream. And uh, when uh, the bridge is formed, the collapse uh, where, where, where will occur. The second uh, mechanism is concentrated erosion. Uh, concentrated erosion can, uh, can occur when uh, suffusion or uh, when a crack is uh, is uh, is uh, within the 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 fill the fill dams and then this progression will uh, will open a channel uh, and uh, the the bridge will uh, will uh, create the damage of uh, of this uh, of this dam. The third uh, mechanism of er erosion is contact erosion. Contact erosion is uh, the kind of erosion happened uh, between foundations and uh, embankment uh, when the different uh, the different uh, layers uh, are uh, are ex exchanging uh, particles uh, when. Uh, Flowing uh, water flowing is uh, crossing this interface. So in the contact erosion, uh, the, the particles from fine layer are going to the coarse layer and they're washing out uh, till this uh, fine layer is uh, reduced in thickness and then uh, maybe uh, settlements of uh, the, the, the structure was uh, happened. The fourth uh, mechanism of erosion is the suffusion that uh, uh, that will be treated in uh, in this presentation. The suffusion is a volume erosion. Uh, it concerns uh, fine particles in in in, in uh, within the, the the soil. Fine particles are transported, are detached, and transported uh, through the the soil by the uh, the seepage. The erosion is one of the least reliably defined elements of many hydraulic projects. So uh, this, uh, this, this kind of uh, pathology uh, have to be uh, regarded with, uh, with more attention. 
the about the the failures the, the failures uh, of other world uh, the most known is Teton Dam in uh, USA uh, in 1976 which uh, was uh, occurred because of uh, of the the lack of the lack of uh, of the uh, abandonment about uh, because the, the, the there is a lack of uh, ge uh, geology investigation and uh, this uh, this dam was uh, was failed many years after uh, its construction the second uh, other main accident the recent accident is uh, uh, that was happened in Brazil uh, in uh, 2019. It was a, a huge uh, catastrophic uh, failure of uh, this dam, and uh, I think uh, uh, more than 300 uh, uh, lives uh, were uh, lost. And uh, the erosion also can affect the slope the earth slopes uh, by the the, the seepage uh, underneath of uh, the slope and also can affect the uh, transport structures like uh, roads and uh, railways. The acting parameters uh, on uh, erosion are uh, particle size distribution uh, and uh, the first uh, criteria uh, engineering criteria are based on particle size distribution uh, hydraulic load applied stress the gray shape the water chemistry the compaction um, the fines the, the the content the fine constants and uh, the type of fines uh, the flow direction and uh, also heterogeneity uh, many uh, authors uh, have uh, addressed uh, many criteria based on uh, grain size distribution. And uh, in uh, this, uh, this last year, uh, uh, many authors uh, addressed the, uh, the importance of uh, the mineralogy of fines. So, uh, uh, it will be discussed uh, further. Uh, this uh, this uh, this kind of uh, parameter is uh, very important. Uh, many available erosion tests uh, exist. Uh, the pinhole test erosion uh, uh, was uh, the, the first one, uh, uh, which is uh, assessed in uh, USA. Uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, this kind of tests may can give uh, uh, qualitative uh, information about the susceptibility of soil to be eroded, and uh, from that there is uh, another test, the whole erosion test, uh, which uh, which is similar to the pinhole test but uh, with uh, uh, a larger hole. Uh, for, for the for the soil testing, and uh, from this uh, kind of tests, many uh, modelization are made to uh, to discuss the results and to make the uh, classification of uh, soils against uh, erosion. The third uh, test, uh, which is uh, largely used uh, in uh, the engineering of uh, dams and, uh, and uh, dikes, is the jet erosion test, uh, which apply uh, water uh, under high pressure on uh, sample soil sample, uh, and then uh, the solid uh, going from the effluent was uh, weighted, and from this. Uh, this uh, this test there is a model, a model which uh, a linear model or a, a quite linear model which uh, may uh, which gives a, a parameter a main parameter kd of uh, the erosion uh, factor which is uh, used to make classification of uh, the resistance of tested soil against erosion How suffusion process occurs and develops. 
Uh, I will uh, uh, talk in this uh, presentation about experiments and modeling. Uh, the suffusion is a mechanism that involves the uh, selective erosion of fine particles in the porous matrix of coarser soil particles. So uh, the suffusion occurs only if there is the particle detachment and transport. Uh, so uh, we can uh, can get uh, eroded particles if uh, they are transported and washed out uh, of uh, uh, the soil or uh, the embankment. The the the, the uh, suffusion uh, involves the, the 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 transport of particles between coarser coarser ones, uh, and uh, then if uh, they are uh, able to be uh, to pass through constrictions. They are washed out, and uh, uh, elsewhere they are uh, trapped within uh, the, the the constriction, and uh, they uh, they are they are filtered, uh, and uh, they can also uh, clog the, the the medium. In uh, this uh, in this way works, we investigate conditions of uh, initiation of uh, suffusion under uh, which and under which hydraulic conditions and granular conditions uh, suffusion occurs the parameters governing suffusion kinetics and uh, their influence the relationships between suffusion parameters and physical properties of tested materials Suffusion uh, uh, is internal erosion process uh, where when finer soil particles move it through constriction between larger soil particles by seepage forces. Uh, so the initiation, uh, the initiation involves detachment of particles and their transport, and likely their attachment. In coarse grained uh, Coarse grain and non cohesive soils erode more rapidly than fine grained soils and have lower critical shear stresses. In literature, much focus has been placed on the potential of internal instability and therefore investigation of the geometric criterion. In the present study, several soil samples collected from an earth dam in England. Uh, which is uh, vulnerable to internal erosion are tested in laboratory. And in another part of, uh, of this presentation, I will talk about uh, uh, soil uh, coming from a um, uh, dike uh, in uh, Rhine River in, uh, in France. And uh, I, I will talk uh, finally about uh, the interaction between uh, erosion and filtration in a specific uh, uh, setup. Uh, the the Chasewater Dam, which is uh, located in West England, was suffering leakage in uh, 2008, uh, and uh, this. Uh, this uh, dam was built in the 18th uh, century uh, uh, with uh, stones and rubbles with a storage capacity of uh, one uh, of, with uh, 4.5 4 million cubic meters. Uh, it is constituted uh, with two embankments, the Western one, uh, which is uh, four meter high and uh, 1,000, 200 meter long and the eastern one with uh, 12 meter high and uh, 560 meter long. So uh, as you like, uh, as you see here, the, 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 the leakage was so uh, important and the owners decided to, um, to, to make investigation uh, about uh, this uh, pathology. And the, uh, during the investigation with uh, many uh, borehole uh, testing, uh, the, the, the no clay core was uh, found or other defense mechanism 
uh, was found in this uh, in this uh, structure, and so it is complicated to uh, judge about its resistance uh, against erosion. So, not uh, not knowing its uh, its exact composition uh, has meant that assessment of the dam robustness has been extre extremely challenging. And uh, a quantitative risk assessment was completed and suggested that uh, the level of risk is unacceptable. So uh, many uh, reparation works have to be to be uh, performed. So the the the, the aim of uh, the investigation and uh, the works is to quantify the dam's resistance to an internal erosion to propose a solution. Uh, so uh, the dam safety uh, engineer, engineer uh, Mr. Bridal uh, from UK uh, was the leader of uh, the team, the engineering team, uh, which is uh, uh, investigating the the this uh, the, the causes of the the erosion uh, or suffusion in this in this dam. So uh, we uh, get uh, some uh, samples uh, to uh, to investigate the resistance to suffusion of uh, samples. And uh, after that, uh, after this uh, this study, this investigation, the engineering team uh, decided to install sand filters that will trap the smallest the smallest particles supplemented by relief wires in uh, the east embankment, which is uh, which was suffering uh, more erosion and more suffusion than the, the western uh, dam. So many uh, boreholes uh, were uh, performed along this this uh, eastern dam, and uh, we were concerned by two uh, two boreholes, uh, the one hundred three and one hundred two, and uh, also one hundred one, uh, three uh, three boreholes. We received the course. Uh, core samples uh, for testing against the fusion. So the dam from uh, all this uh, course, uh, it was concluded that the dam is an unzoned detergent earthen embankment comprising mixed alluvial and glacial materials, including sand, gravels, clay, and some peat, and also uh, colliery spoil. So uh, there is no uh, no core in this dam and no filter, so it is easily uh, susceptible to uh, suffusion. It was decided by the by the engineering team to uh, make a suffusion tests on these layers uh, from three to uh, six uh, meters deep uh, in uh, soils. Uh, which are uh, clay silt and uh, slightly clay silt and uh, brown city sand with uh, with fines. So the soil test the soil tested are coming from this uh, this tip. Uh, six uh, six uh, samples were tested in the laboratory. Uh, they uh, they are described described in this in this table. The the first one is uh, brown to gray silty sand, very soft. The second one is uh, brown silty sand with gravels. The third one is gray to black silty sand with gravels, uh, and uh, the fourth one is uh, also brown silty sand with gravels, which is disturbed. And uh, the fifth one is the brown city gravel with sand matrix. And the last one is uh, red city fine sand, which is less disturbed. 
uh, you see in this uh, uh, graph the, the particle size distribution of this uh, source. Uh, and uh, we, the, 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 they have the similar, uh, similar trend of, uh, of the or similar shape of the particle size distribution. But uh, uh, there is uh, a light uh, gap grating for uh, many of them, like uh, VC103, uh, uh, for example, or, and uh, the two others here. But the, the, the sample uh, VC101A uh, has uh, continuous, uh, well graded, uh, quite well graded. Uh, distribution and uh, it is known that uh, the cup uh, gap graded source are deemed to be more susceptible to suffusion so uh, we will uh, we'll see uh, we'll see in, in the uh, from the results that uh, the, this soil uh, which is uh, which is well graded uh, is not so far uh, uh, stable uh, against uh, against uh, suffusion. The test apparatus uh, for testing uh, such uh, soils uh, is a cell uh, with, uh, uh, with two centimeters height and uh, uh, six, uh, ten centimeter uh, nine nine centimeters uh, inner diameter. The, the cell was uh, supplied by uh, a tank, a water, water tank. Uh, the flow is vertical and it, it is uh, upward. And, and uh, uh, from the outlet here, the, 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 the fluid was analyzed uh, in a turbidity meter. And uh, so the turbidity was uh, an indicator uh, about uh, about suffusion. Here are the, 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 the different samples and different cells used to uh, investigate uh, the suffusion of these uh, samples. So we investigate the other condition under which the suffusion initiates and becomes critical. It's important. Uh, Identify the care parameters governing suffusion and quantify their influence. So, uh, uh, in the, uh, the the engineering team, uh, which was leading uh, the investigations, asked us to uh, uh, especially investigate hydraulic conditions under which the suffusion is set. Uh, it means uh, define the critical hydraulic gradient for each uh, sample. The procedure of testing is to increase hydraulic loading till a significant outlet turbidity occurs. And uh, we state that uh, this was the, the, the uh, critical hydraulic gradient. Uh, the results from this, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this test, uh, uh, we analyze the the turbidity data, uh, which, which were which were transformed in concentration uh, through uh, through a calibration uh, equation, and uh, in this example uh, for this, uh, the, this for this sample VC uh, one hundred one two, this uh, this uh, shows that. Uh, at the gradient uh, point 45, uh, this is the onset of suffusion. Uh, and at uh, the gradient of point uh, 7, there is a failure of the, of the sample. And uh, if, we, uh, if we look uh, at this uh, values from this table, uh, which uh, displays the fine contents, the maximum gradients tested, the dry density, the permeability, the critical gradient, the sh critical shear stress, the final permeability and the mass loss. Uh, we see that uh, if we uh, 
if we cons if we if we look at the uh, fine contents, uh, this uh, sample has the, the 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 most important fine contents, uh, forty four. And if we compare it with this one with thirty uh, twenty uh, fine contents, so we this uh, the, the this uh, this sample will uh, start suffusion at the gradient uh, of 1.87, and the other one will start suffusion uh, at, at, uh, at a gradient at 7.5, uh, very, 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 uh, very high gradient. So this, uh, this sample, this last sample is uh, very resistant uh, against uh, suffusion, while this one is uh, is less is less resistant. So the content, the fine content, is not a, a specific and a parameter or indicator of resistance against suffusion. This uh, these are the uh, pictures of uh, samples uh, after after uh, after suffusion. Uh, so uh, for the most resistant sample, we uh, uh, we see here the uplift at uh, when the gradient uh, of the ten was uh, uh, was reached uh, with uh, thirty percent fines uh, with the uh, uh, critical header gradient of uh, seven point five. The mass loss loss was uh, only twenty percent of the global uh, mass of fines. And the permeability was slightly lowered, but for uh, this other uh, sample, which is uh, very susceptible to suffusion, uh, we see that after uh, after test, uh, he lost uh, uh, an important an important uh, part of uh, his his finds. So, uh, it's the brown city gravel with sand matrix, uh, which is. Uh, meant to be unstable. It contains 70% of fines. Uh, the maximum uh, action gradient uh, tested is only 0.5, and the critical gradient is 0.2. And uh, his uh, mass loss is only 3% of fines, but it was, uh, it was uh, deemed un unstable. So the permeability was enlarged uh, five times. Uh, for assessing the uh, suffusion uh, susceptibility, uh, we use this uh, the model model of Ready, uh, uh, which is uh, which is uh, a linear a linear uh, a linear equation between uh, the hydraulic loose and uh, the erosion rate. Uh, from uh, this uh, this uh, this graph, we can see that uh, the, the the this uh, this sample the VC one hundred three three was the most resistant because the erosion rate was uh, very uh, very light, uh, but the two other samples are. Uh, very uh, susceptible to suffusion, and they show uh, a great erosion rate. So uh, even even if uh, this uh, this uh, soil uh, evolves less uh, fine contents than uh, this one, but uh, it raises uh, better to suffusion. So fine content is not the main parameters, the, the main parameter governing resistance to fusion, but the type of fine is also very uh, important. That's what we see uh, in the uh, in the going uh, results. As we get to soil permeability variation, <laughs> sample uh, the sample. 101 2 with the uh, initial value of uh, 8.5 uh, uh, 
then the mice for the meter per second, uh, this one evolved to 50, 15. Uh, and uh, there is a great progression of uh, hydraulic uh, conductivity. So it, uh, it, is, uh, it is very, very uh, susceptible to suffusion. So the permeability increase created with susceptibility suffusion and the low hydraulic gradient. Uh, so this, uh, this soil, uh, this is the, the one where which was uh, suffering suffusion. The assessment of uh, internal stability from usual criteria, we use the criteria of Kenny and Lowe and uh, Kesti to uh, assess uh, the susceptibility. They showed that uh, soil uh, 103 one uh, assessed and stable even if test results showed resistance against suffusion uh, because uh, for, uh, for, uh, for finer, finer uh, content, uh, fin finer contents less than 20, uh, there's, inst there's instability. Uh, uh, but in, in our test, uh, it, uh, it, were, it was demonstrated that, that this soil was uh, resistant to uh, suffusion. Uh, but the uh, soil uh, 103.1 and uh, 103.2, uh, the most unstable from the test, show to be suffusive from Kenny and Lou uh, criteria mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, with the, this value of uh, the ratio uh, HF uh, of uh, 0.19 and uh, 0.41 respectively when F is less than uh, 0.2. So uh, there is a discrepancy between uh, the usual uh, criteria and uh, the, test, the results from the suffusion tests. But overall, uh, tested uh, samples, when we use different criteria, uh, there's the discrepancies uh, between the test results uh, and the, uh, the results uh, obtained by uh, the criteria uh, for, for uh, one or two samples, but uh, in uh, In in uh, in uh, in many in uh, in many uh, situations, uh, there is uh, agreement between the results of testing and uh, like uh, here and the results of many criteria like uh, Van Effel, the la, the la, the la latest one, and uh, from Kesti also. So uh, I think that uh, we have to. Uh, use criteria. Uh, we have to appropriate cr criteria for each each soil, and uh, we cannot uh, use all the criteria for uh, each each soil. So the origin begin in totally unstable source at a gradient lower than unit. Uh, however, source with more plastic fines require higher gradients, up to seven five for uh, one tested soil. The discrepancy between experimental and theoretical values of critical uh, hydro gradient may be attributed to the core soil disturbance. Uh, the cup graded soils began to arrive at lower graded than well graded soils with the same fine contents. And soil with more than 30% fine content may not be adequately assisted by usual criteria. Some samples tested to be stable are deemed to be unstable by used methods. So from that to uh, assess the, the effect of fines, we tested in laboratory mixtures of sand and fines. Uh, three fines were selected, uh, chlorinate, uh, silt, and uh, eyelet. Uh, these uh, three uh, the fines can be uh, found in uh, uh, in, uh, in in uh, in many soils. So it is important to uh, test them, and uh, we 
we get the mineralogy of these soils. Uh, so uh, silica, silica uh, contents are uh, uh, globally the same contents, and uh, the choline is uh, more rich in alumina. But uh, uh, regarding the geotechnical uh, parameters, the, the, the uh, plastic index uh, is globally uh, is the same for the, the three files, but the uh, specific area is very uh, is more important uh, for islet. Uh, so we see we'll see that uh, this. Uh, kind of fine is uh, more resistant to uh, suffusion. So we tested uh, three, uh, three mixtures with uh, sand and 5% uh, of kaolin, 5% of islet, and 55% uh, of kaolin. And, and uh, we get the, the critical gradient for 2 for 5% kaolin, 3.14 uh, Five percent islet and ten for twenty-five percent kaolin. So uh, this, uh, uh, when we uh, increase the fine contents, uh, in the case of kaolin here, the resistance uh, was increased. But uh, with the same fine contents of uh, kaolin and islet, we see that uh, the islet is more resistant. So this is uh, this can be uh, uh, showed by the uh, the mineralogy of uh, these uh, two types of clay, uh, and uh, we uh, also can uh, use the uh, the coefficient of uh, uh, cationic exchange of uh, of uh, the, the of both. Uh, Minerals, and uh, we see that uh, the CEC of uh, choline uh, is 10, uh, while the, the, that of islet is 25. So uh, this uh, this uh, type of uh, of fine is uh, is more uh, is a group of uh, closely related non-expanding clay minerals, and uh, it is able to absorb more water than than choline. So it makes uh, uh, the structure more uh, more uh, resistive to against uh, against suffusion. We uh, also tested uh, three uh, three uh, here three uh, yeah for th for this uh, three uh, kind of files. Uh, we uh, we plotted here the hydro conductivity. Uh, uh, versus hydraulic gradient, and uh, we see that uh, for the mixtures uh, containing uh, uh, silt and kaolinite, the hydraulic conductivity decreases. That means that uh, uh, fines are uh, detached and uh, they eroded and uh, they move it inside the, inside the sample, while for uh, the mixture uh, containing islet, it is it is stable. The conduct how the conductivity is stable, uh, meaning that uh, uh, the, the no no suffusion uh, occurs in this uh, in this sample. And when using this uh, classification uh, uh, with the uh, erosion rate index, so we get that uh, the mixture uh, containing silt was. Uh, to, to be very uh, with uh, to 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 have a very rapid uh, suffusion uh, erosion and that uh, composed with kaolin was moderately with uh, moder moder moderately rapid uh, suffusion but uh, the mixture of with islet has more moderately slow suffusion now that's uh, that, that, that mixture is uh, the most resistant against suffusion. So uh, the potential for instability governed by the proportion of fines, but also by the type of fines. 
the silt uh, mixtures are uh, more suitable to suffusion than kaolinate and ilate ones. And the islet mixture is the least erodible. Morphines are added in the mixture, the less the relative eroded mass in the case of kaolinate, like I experienced, but uh, this, uh, this being limited by a threshold value uh, uh, because we can, uh, this, uh, this trend is not uh, true for, uh, um, for an important. Uh, Content, uh, content value of, uh, of fines. The islet is, uh, is a group of closely rated non-expanding clay minerals. Uh, that's what it is more uh, resistant against suffusion. And the uh, kaolinate uh, is now to be more dispersive than alite. And they don't uh, show here the, the dispersion test, but it was uh, it was uh, assessed that kaolinate is more dispersive. Uh, the, this uh, third uh, study is about the suffusion of uh, coarse granite soils from rind dikes coming from uh, uh, the area of uh, Strasbourg. Uh, and uh, because uh, many accidents uh, uh, occurred, uh, in uh, in the in this uh, in, in this uh, dikes in uh, in Strasbourg uh, in in the uh, in the Rhine in the Rhine River, so uh, in the framework of the national project, uh, Elino, uh, the internal erosion of uh, hydraulic works, uh, uh, which uh, was uh, completed in uh, two thousand ten. We received uh, samples from uh, these tags uh, to uh, test them about suffusion. So we, uh, the source are uh, gravel, gravel source, and uh, we uh, we designed this setup with uh, a large diameter and uh, also a large height, and uh, <coughs> we tested uh, the soil in uh, an upward flow uh, using different uh, gradients and uh, measuring the turbidity of uh, the outflow. Uh, this is the distri grain distribution of, uh, of this, uh, this soil. Uh, this is uh, also uh, classified as poorly graded gravel. Uh, containing 24% 20, uh, of sand and three, only 3% of fines. So we tested the stability assessment uh, using these uh, two classifications uh, uh, from uh, Kenny and Lou and uh, Van and Fell. So from the, the classification of Van and Fell, this soil is uh, in the transition zone. So it is not instable, but it is deemed to be uh, to be stable, uh, and uh, from the classification of uh, Kenny and Lou, it, it is uh, it is unstable. So we uh, measured the concentration, the hydro gradient, uh, the eroded mass, and uh, also the velocity and the permeability. So we uh, we get. Uh, Erosion concentration uh, concentration at the outlet soil concentration when we reach a gradient uh, which is close to one, uh, and uh, from that uh, there is uh, there is no no uh, so so much erosion, and uh, the the evolution of uh, hydraulic uh, permeability shows show that uh, it is uh, just it is decreasing uh, showing that uh, particles are eroded but there is uh, a kind of self uh, filtration in the soil and so uh, the erosion is uh, was limited uh, if uh, we uh, look at the erosion mass so uh, after uh, 10 hours testing we get only 
20 grams uh, of eroded mass, which is uh, a very, very low uh, ratio of uh, erodible mass in this, uh, in this soil. The local modification of uh, the soil structure, uh, this uh, picture shows that at the, at the, at the downstream of uh, the sample, uh, a lot of fines are uh, washed out, uh, as it uh, showed in this upper face of uh, the sample. So the, there's accumulation of mud fines due the due the self filtration, and uh, the measured hydrogadins here are very high, showing that there is accumulation and uh, uh, likely a clogging in this uh, in this area. So the tested gravel soil shows a quite interesting resistance against suffusion till the hydraulic gradient uh, close to one. The suffusion kinetics is low, uh, leading uh, to its classification as moderately erodible soil. The particles migration in the cell is highlighted by the decrease of hydraulic gradient in the upper side of the sample. The suffusion is more effective in the downstream of sample and the cumulative eroded mass represents a ratio less than one percent of the total erodible mass and particles uh, washed out uh, have a size less than one uh, millimeter. So uh, it seems very interesting also to test uh, suffusion and uh, filtration because uh, I, 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 to, I told that uh, in uh, the case of uh, Chase Water Dam, uh, it was decided to, uh, to build a, a filter uh, and uh, because uh, this, is, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this is the solution to uh, avoid the uh, washing out of uh, particles. So we tested here uh, from uh, this uh, this apparatus uh, from Shara, uh, we tested uh, the whole erosion of uh, uh, fine soil uh, combined with filtration uh, downstream. We uh, selected uh, three filters, uh, filter one, filter two, and three. Uh, the two filters, F2 and F3, uh, have the same uh, distribution, uh, grain distribution, but they, uh, the shape of the grains are different. Uh, uh, the filter one, uh, F, F1, is, uh, is tested, but it was unstable. So uh, it is, it, so uh, even if uh, he respected this criteria, it was tested uh, unstable. The base soil is green clay and the uh, filters are uh, poor gravity sand uh, designed according to USP recommendations. Uh, the susceptibility to uh, erosion from uh, this test shows that uh, when we use it, this uh, this uh, this model uh, um, of uh, rate uh, erosion rate and uh, hydraulic uh, shear stress, uh, we obtain this value of uh, uh, erosion coefficient. Uh, and according to this class, these guidelines, uh, the soil was deemed to be moderately slow to have a moderately slow erosion. So uh, when we compare the, uh, the, the, the action of filters uh, F1 and F2, we, the filter F1, because it is unstable, he lost many, uh, a large part of his particles. So the eroded, cumulative eroded mass is very important as regards to uh, filter F2 with the, the same uh, the same gradients. So there is a strong effect of feather load on eroded mass, and uh, the filter F2 is more effective, uh, provides loss uh, less erosion, but uh, F1 
uh, it was internally unstable, unstable and so uh, it uh, provides more uh, uh, cumulative error than mass. And uh, if we uh, the ratio, if we uh, investigate the ratio of uh, the ratio of porosity and permeability, so uh, there is a, a decrease of permeability for this uh, filter filter F two, uh, but the porosity was decreased only uh, uh, by only uh, twenty percent. So erosion filtration. Uh, involves a uh, pressure drop, uh, drastic reduction of hydraulic conductivity, uh, about uh, 60%, but no cracking because the positive reduction is only 20%. Uh, so we can uh, talk about the concept of filtration depth because uh, uh, particles are filtered in. Uh, in, a, in only a, a part of, of the filter. And uh, when uh, investigating the uh, particle size depletion of recovered particles, so uh, this are, uh, seems to have the similar shape, it is the continue, for continuous lines, and uh, the particles retained upstream the filters are coarser than retained downstream. So the the, 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 the coarse particles are uh, trapped in the upstream part of the filter. And uh, if comparing the filter F2 with the angular shape and uh, F3 with rounded shape, uh, so we, uh, we see that uh, uh, the retained mass increase Linearly with hydro gradient, and uh, the retained mass is more quite important in filter F2 uh, here. And the grain angularity provides more retention, uh, quite more retention, uh, uh, especially in this uh, area of uh, tested uh, graduates. The retention capacity computed for these two filters uh, seems to be more important for filter F2 than for the uh, filter F, uh, F3. So the consideration of the criterion uh, B15 and B85 uh, shows that the filter uh, which meets the criterion shows some instability against internal erosion. And opposite the filter F2, uh, which uh, whose uh, ratio is uh, 11, uh, which do not meet the, the, meet the criteria, uh, uh, provide more filtration efficiency. Particles retained upstream, the filter are coarser than that retained downstream, and gray shape of effects filtration process in the way that angular shapes provides more particle retention. So filter performance combining the retention and drainage may be key for evaluating the filter effectiveness using the laboratory erosion filtration tests because we combine the two processes together in the same setup. Uh, the last uh, last uh, part of my presentation. Sorry, I'm. Uh, uh, it's it's a long presentation. So I I, I want uh, just to uh, talk about uh, the, the modeling of uh, suffusion. How we can model suffusion? Uh, we can model it by using a, a discrete uh, element method or a continuum based model. Here I show the results, a uh, few results about uh, continuum based model. Uh, we uh, can uh, model the suffusion by uh, convective dispersive equation with the release function, including a threshold of erosion occurrence. We use the uh, equation uh, provided by uh, Govind in uh, 1995. So we have the, uh, the convection uh, term, the disp dispersion term, and here 
the release function. This release function can be expressed uh, using uh, the, the critical, uh, critical, uh, critical share stress uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, also using the uh, relation between porosity and uh, permeability uh, from the cos decarbon equation. But uh, in this, uh, in the example uh, simulated here, uh, we neglect uh, the dispersion because of uh, the of the the shock the, sh uh, the shortness of uh, the sample. So uh, we we consider that dispersion can be neglect neglected, and uh, for that we get this uh, solution, analytical solution. And uh, uh, we simulated uh, these experiments with uh, uh, a short, a short uh, sample uh, submitted to suffusion, submitted to seepage and suffusion. And uh, the results show uh, when we match them with the, uh, the numerical uh, results or the analytical results, that there is accordance. There, there is accordance between the, the two results. Uh, even for this uh, this mixture of sand and the two person silt, or this uh, this uh, fifth uh, fifth uh, five uh, five, uh, five uh, samples using uh, different fine contents uh, of kaolinite. Uh, so there is a good agreement between experimental and numerical results for complete suffusion process of fines. As the main conclusion uh, from a presentation, uh, the potential for instability is governed by the fines contents, mainly by the type of clay. Islet is the most resistant against suffusion, and seed mixture are the most suitable to suffusion. Uh, the suffusion kinematics was also highlighted. Uh, migration particles toward the downstream were where retention occurs. Uh, so with the rise of high pressure. Uh, uh, the kinematics of particles is, uh, is, uh, is important because many particles can, uh, can be transported uh, till uh, uh, location uh, of, uh, of the, the sample of the, of the embankment and uh, they, they can be filtered. So the grain shape affects filtration process and the uh, suitable evaluation of filter effectiveness using Combined erosion filtration test is uh, commanded. A uh, good agreement between model results and experimental data for complete suffusion of fines provided for a single hydraulic load, but there was less accordance uh, for more than a single load uh, uh, because the effect of load load has high story, which can uh, which will cannot uh, cannot be. Uh, for this moment to be modeled. I didn't show this last results, but uh, it was uh, a conclusion about uh, modeling. Thank you for uh, your attention. Sorry for uh, to be uh, to be late. No, thank, thank you so much, um, Dr. Benamar. Uh, very interesting. Very